Judges. The villagers ceased in Israel. They ceased to be until I arose. I, Deborah, arose as a mother in Israel. Out of the window she peered. The mother of Sisera wailed through the lattice. Why is his chariot so long in coming? Why tarry the hoofbeats of his chariots? And he said, They were my brothers, the sons of my mother. As the Lord lives, if you had saved them alive, I would not kill you. Now Abimelech, the son of Jeroboam, went to Shechem to his mother's relatives, and said to them and to the whole clan of his mother's family, and his mother's relatives spoke all these words on his behalf in the ears of all the leaders of Shechem, and their hearts inclined to follow Abimelech, for they said, He is our brother. Then he came up and told his father and mother, I saw one of the daughters of the Philistines at Timnah. Now get her for me as my wife. But his father and mother said to him, Is there not a woman among the daughters of your relatives or... Among all our people? That you must go to take a wife from the uncircumcised Philistines? But Samson said to his father, Get her for me, for she is right in my eyes. His father and mother did not know that it was from the Lord, for he was seeking an opportunity against the Philistines. At that time the Philistines ruled over Israel. Then Samson went down with his father and mother to Timnah, and they came to the vineyards of Timnah. And behold, a young lion came toward him, roaring. Then the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon him, and although he had nothing in his hand, he tore the lion in pieces as one tears a young goat. But he did not tell his father or his mother what he had done. He scraped it out into his hands and went on, eating as he went. And he came to his father and mother, and gave some to them, and they ate. But he did not tell them that he had scraped the honey from the carcass of the lion. And Samson's wife wept over him, and said, You only hate me! You do not love me! You have put a riddle to my people, and you have not told me what it is! And he said to her, Behold, I have not told my father nor my mother, and shall I tell you? And he told her all his heart, and said to her, A razor has never come upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If my head is shaved, then my strength will leave me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. And he said to his mother, The eleven hundred pieces of silver that were taken from you, about which you uttered a curse, and also spoke it in my ears, Behold, the silver is with me. I took it. And his mother said, Blessed be my son by the Lord. And he restored the one thousand one hundred pieces of silver to his mother. And his mother said, I dedicate the silver to the Lord from my hand for my son to make a carved image and a metal image. Now, therefore, I will restore it to you. So when he restored the money to his mother, his mother took two hundred pieces of silver and gave it to the silversmith who made it into a carved image and a metal image, and it was in the house of Micah.